one of the previous videos, we talked about service mesh, what it was, the importance, why people want it in today's world, and the fact that it's an advanced style topic. It's not something that, you know, you just kind of dive into. Service mesh is pretty new. We've always kind of had the concept of, you know, securing traffic, helping with network latency, securing application communication, all of that. But the idea of service mesh, the name of bundling it all together is still very new. And a lot of the time organizations try to implement it and use, you know, one piece of it. So it's not something that's just used day to day, like a CICD pipeline or the cloud or something like that. And because of that, in this video and in the next video, we're going to learn how to implement two popular service meshes, Istio and HashiCorp console. We're gonna deploy some apps, we're gonna see how they're all connected and all of that good stuff. So with that, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so to make things easier here, I went ahead and I wrote down all of the commands. Now we will be deploying this simple Nginx app to our cluster, so it's just a stateless Nginx web app. We have our deployment there, and then we have our service right here. So. Let's go ahead and do this. First things first, if you don't already have a Minikube cluster up, you're gonna to wanna to run Minikube start. And if you don't wanna use Minikube, that's totally fine. You can use any other Kubernetes cluster. Istio works across any Kubernetes cluster. But to keep things simple and cheap, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go with Minikube. All right, next, let's go ahead and run kubectl get nodes. All right, we are good to go here with Minikube. Now the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna curl and download Istio. Now, as you can see, it downloaded 1.15 for me. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna export the path. And then I want to take Istio version 1.15.0 and put it into my bash RC. All right, cool, so we are good to go there. Next, we wanna go ahead and we wanna actually install Istio. So we're gonna use the Istio CTL to install the service mesh. And as we can see here, we're gonna set the ingress to false because we're not doing anything with ingress in this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna install it. I'm gonna type yes. And it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna install everything for me. As you can see, this was installed and it goes pretty quick. So next thing, I'm just gonna run kubectl, get namespaces. And notice here how we have the new Istio system namespace. So I'm gonna run kubectl, get all, namespace Istio system. And as we can see, Istio has been deployed successfully. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clear my screen here. And now what do we wanna do is we wanna use, I actually don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Kiali, I think is the way to pronounce it, but it's actually a dashboard. So it's a UI for us that we can actually log into and see everything that's going on from a graphical standpoint inside of our service mesh. So let's go ahead and run the kubectl command against the code. All right, and as you can see, it's already deployed for me, which is fine. It'll probably say created for you. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run kubectl get service. As we can see, we have the Kiali service running. You probably won't have the Grafana service running unless you installed it already, that's perfectly fine, but that is not part of this video. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna forward this port here. All right, so now let's head over to the web browser and we'll pop open this dashboard. And I am here, as you can see, I went over port 62873, same that was in VS Code, and we are all installed and ready to go. All right, so getting back to VS Code here, let's now deploy our application. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this right here, and what this command is gonna do is it's gonna do a cube inject which essentially means it's going to take the istio sidecar and it's going to inject it into our nginx.yaml deployment and then we're going to do a kubectl apply on that so let's go ahead and run that all right and that's deployed now check this out if i go kubectl get pods notice here how i have two pods but inside of my pods i have two containers running and that other container is the sidecar so one more time, let's go ahead and head over to the dashboard. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna refresh. And then I'm gonna go to applications and notice how our application is now popping up inside of our service mesh.